Hey everyone, and welcome back to Fashion Design with Hannah. If you are new here, I've embarked on a wedding dress journey for my big fun wedding and for my courthouse wedding as well. And as requested by so many of you on my social media polls, I'm bringing you all along with me. If you haven't seen them yet, be sure to do so as I am ranking these brands according to my overall experience with scheduling, how the try-on appointment goes, the dress selection available, and if I choose a dress, how the alterations go. Those scores will then put each brand into my final category ranking to answer, is it worth it? With 100% worth it at the top, followed by somewhat worth it, if you like some of the styles or price point, or all the way down at the bottom with not worth it. So go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see each contender and let me know which brand or style ends up being your favorite in the comments. Today I'm trying out a bridal brand that has risen through the ranks since its founding in 2011 and that would be Beholden, which is an anthropology label. I was really excited to visit its showroom in Midtown New York City, however it recently closed due to the retail hardships in the last couple years, so Upper East Side it was. This Beholden is located inside an anthropology and let's just say they have a lot more dresses online than they do in store. I definitely recommend looking to see what each store has on their website before booking an appointment. So let's see what they do have with this first dress. The Wesley gown is a true stunner and all of its embellishments made me feel like an art deco queen. The scalloped edges were a perfect detail for me, but the trade-off with all of that lovely beading was that it made the dress feel pretty heavy. On to dress number two. I wanted to try a style that was a little more simple but still had some design interest to it. The beading, rhinestones, and embroidery added some beautiful floral motifs and as you can tell they didn't have my size available for trying on. Turns out they only carry a couple sizes in store but the studded straps were digging into my shoulders anyway. For dress number three, I went with a less shiny but ever so beautiful lace option. There wasn't any support for the bust but it was certainly a flattering style. Dress number four had beautiful floral embroidered appliques on a tulle overlay with layered tulle to add fullness at the hem and create a relaxed mermaid fit. The skirt and train were a bit too much both in volume and length for me, but the appliques were gorgeous. For dress number five, I felt like trying a partially see-through style, which again featured embroidered appliques with these ones leaning more leaf heavy. The front bust fit would need some tweaking if I went with this gown, but the train was much more manageable and I loved how they styled the straps with the appliques. For the final dress number six, I wanted to try more A-line silhouette as the rest were leaning more mermaid. This gown also played with sheer paneling and though very fun to try on, it's just not quite my personal style, which then brings me to the rankings. Scheduling with Beholden was pretty easy as I could do it online and they sent me plenty of reminders via phone call and email. I believe I booked mine about one month out and I really didn't have to worry about missing my desired time frame for a fitting, so with that I will give them a 10 out of 10. As for the try-on appointment itself, we actually started pretty late, especially considering how I was the second appointment of the day and we waited with the first appointments customer for an extra half hour and this was right after the store opened. It was also pretty dimly lit, so the gowns with shimmery details didn't really shine and the colors felt pretty off. However, the associate that helped us was extremely helpful, so with that, I'll give the try on appointment a 6 out of 10. The dress selection was pretty skimpy, especially compared to the many styles that you can find online, especially since there were very few sizes that they do carry in the store and very few quantity of those sizes that you can try on. Another customer actually had to borrow one of the dresses from my rack in order to try it on as that was literally the only one in the store. I will forgive them a bit because the Beholden dedicated showroom was recently closed, so I'll give them a 5 out of 10. I originally had the alterations category listed just in case I chose a dress. Since I didn't end up choosing one from me Holden, I inquired to see what would happen if I did choose one and to my dismay, they offer zero alterations. They could recommend tailors nearby who they said were very good, however as a bridal brand, 
alterations are a very key service to offer. So with that, I will be giving them a 0 out of 10. For my final ranking, I'll be giving the Holden a somewhat worth it. If you love their styles, I'd say give them a try if they have a brick and mortar store nearby, or else hope that they have a good review on their site. Surprisingly, not many of their styles have reviews on their website, so hopefully my review will help for the styles that I tried on. But don't let my opinions be the final judge. Let me know what your favorite gown was in the comments down below, especially if you've tried on Beholden yourself. Did you feel like your store had a bigger selection, better service, etc., and would you recommend giving them a try? And as always, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll be seeing you here in the next video where I'll be visiting one of the most well-known bridal brands. Bye! Ha, ha, ha.